want to take you on a social media journey and show you how social media can indeed make a difference in three important ways. First, how social media can connect with and educate patients. Second, how social media can define our online reputations. And finally, how social media can make our voices heard. And Kevin Foe was knocked the lights out fantastic, probably the highest rated speaker that we've ever had um, here at HCIC. Now, how can social media help us? Social media gives us the opportunity to share our stories. The English author Harold Goddard, he wrote, the destiny of the world is determined less by the battles that are lost and won than by the stories it loves and believes in. This patient is live blogging his hospital stay. I said, what do you mean by that? Well, he would have a computer at bedside and whenever a consultant would come in, test result will come back, he'll put up on his blog, hoping someone would read it and chime in on the case. And you know this term is crowdsourcing. He was trying to crowdsource his diagnosis. And I was floored by this. I had never heard of anything like this before. So I put this story up on my site, knowing a lot of physicians would read my site and go over to his. And just like that, he wouldn't just get second, third, or fourth physician opinions. He would get hundreds of physician opinions. So that's how we can use social media to connect with patients. But during my journey, social media is also a powerful way to define our online reputations. The Gallup survey asked the country who they trusted the most when it came to health reform. The president, Congress, policy experts, or physicians. And doctors came first. Patients still trust us and they want to hear what we have to say. And is indeed bad medicine. Dr. Kevin Poe runs the popular medical blog, Kevin MD, where doctors routinely confess exactly how they run a cost by practicing defensive medicine. This is a significant driver in healthcare costs today. But there are ways you, the patient, can sort out the necessary tests from the unnecessary tests. Blaming doctors for systemic problems in our healthcare system isn't going to solve a thing because all that does is pit doctor against patient when they should be united in the common goal of improving our healthcare system. And I have the fortunate opportunity of writing a regular column in USA Today and I use that opportunity to talk about issues that need to be better articulated on a national stage. These are the media skills critical for every health professional to have if we hope to have a say in our changing health world around us.